Good evening, Mindy Sullivan. This is you, star of the television series Ocean Beach, where you play Roxanne. Only you're not happy being an actress. You want a life, whatever that means. This isn't you. This is Melanie Hobson, English schoolgirl. Melanie won a contest and came to Australia with her father, Lionel. This man is Cameron Davis. He followed Melanie to Australia, where he stole your heart. In a series of clandestine meetings, you've been swapping lives with Melanie Hobson and getting away with it. Melanie has embarked on a singing career under the name of Minty Sullivan. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to fly to England under the guise of Melanie and convince her family, teachers, and other acquaintances that you are her. This mission, quite frankly, is impossible. This, <coughs> this tape will <coughs> self-destruct in, <coughs> in the usual <coughs> polluting way. <coughs> Who are you? Melanie Hobson. What's your father's name? Lionel. Middle name? Winston. His sister's name? Ruby. Oh! Uh, Aunt Ruby! Don't ever call her anything else. Sorry. Why have you got that accent? Picked it up while I was there. They're all the rage in Australia. What's your dog's name? Um... Hamlet! I can't do this. Of course you can. It's your biggest role. You were destined to be me. Who are we trying to kid? Well, everyone, actually. <sighs> That's what I mean. Melanie, I'm not going to be able to fool your family. Minty, do you know what my mum and dad have said every week for the past four years? What? She's a teenager. It's just a phase. You do anything strange and it'll just be another phase. Yeah. I suppose. Anyway, you're out of the show here. Even if you did stay, you'd have to sing. <laughs> and wait. I know. I know I can't. Look, it's just for a few weeks. I'll finish the concert tour, fly over for the live show, and we'll be back to our old selves again. <laughs> Come on. Swap. An Australian accent. Oh, she picked it up as soon as we got there, you know, within seconds. Well, Alex picked up his accent from his elocution lessons pretty quickly. Mm. Oh, why are you so quiet? Oh, I'm just very tired. The flight, Mum. Quite <laughs> right. Get those wet things off, pop into bed. Then we'll have a decent cup of tea oh. and I'll tell you everything that's happened since we left. Now, not everything, Lionel. Oh, yes, Peg, everything. <laughs> oh, we have a lovely flight. You, you dropped us at the airport. Did you remember that? Did you get the easy part? Oh, we got back to the car. Oh, no. Yeah, that's right. And, and I want a hamburger with the lot. Oh, and what's your most disgusting milkshake? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Uh, mango double malt triple ice cream. Make it two of those. You got it? Ta. <laughs>
Tell us the truth, ma. I'm a pom. You're telling us fibs, young lady. We know who you are. Now you got it all wrong, mate. I ain't no Aussie. Come on, old bean. Who are you? Best make a clean breast of it. Better for all of us, eh? This should help you remember. Ticklish situation, eh, chum? Welcome back. Hello. Where's the bathroom? Hey. Pammy, you got there. Where exactly are you? I'm in your very messy bedroom. OK, uh, go out and turn right. OK, I'm in the hall. OK, turn left. Yeah, I'm facing left. Now just go two doors down and right again and that's it. Okay, I'm here. Where's this man? I thought we were going to the beach. We'll back out and turn around. Back out? What are you talking about? No, not you. Yes, you. Oh, hang on. Shane, yes, you. Min, uh, Pammy. You go in. Look, turn the handle. It's stick, so just give it a thump right top and a kick bottom left. I am surrounded by idiots. Hey, right, um, have a good dinner. Bye. Dinner. I can do a dinner scene. We'll wait for your sister, Alex, please. G'day. Good day, family. How are we all? Hello, <laughs> Mama. Don't. Hello to you, little brother. Mwah. Nice to see you. Mom, you said you wasn't allowed to tease me about my accent. Oh, oh. don't start on your sister. Oh, Alex. and hello to you too, gorgeous doggy. I told you travel makes you appreciate home. You hungry? Oh, yes, indeed, Mother. Mm. Oh, potatoes and sausages. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly have missed your cooking, Mother. Melanie, stop teasing Alex. You know it's not his fault. It's Aunt Ruby's. Which reminds me, Aunt Ruby's coming at the weekend. Oh. Now, Lionel, she's your sister. She wants to hear all the news about your holiday. I think Melanie's brain got fried from too much sun. Now, we've all been changed by the travel experience. I mean, look at me. I'm having tomato sauce on my sausages instead of Worcester. <laughs> Eat up, love. Oh, hello, Scrum, love. Six thirty five AM. The subject crept out of the house. Surveillance to continue. The 
alleged Melanie is lost, two blocks from where she's lived all her life, and mine too. Unless they steal people's brains in Australia, my suspicions are deepening. We'll continue to gather enough evidence. Hey, Alex. Hey, Mel. Oh, good to see you. Cameron? Cameron? Sure, Mel. Any time. Oh, Got to go. Oh, hello, boy. Morning, love. Been walking? Yes, mother. I couldn't sleep. There's a lot of bricks in Bricksworth, isn't there? Yes. Still, I imagine there's just as many in Australia. Breakfast? Oh, yes, lovely. Um, I'd like a cottage cheese omelette and no egg yolks. Thank you. And um, would that be all? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but my room's in a terrible state. Oh, really? Yeah, any chance you could get onto that today? I'd say there's a pretty good chance someone will. Any other aspect of our humble establishment that aren't up to the high Australian standards you used to? Well, the shower? It, yeah. It's just a little hose thing. Oh, my Lord! What is this place coming to? I'll get the hired help onto it immediately. Hired help. Care to make a guess? Oh, of course. After you've finished these dishes, you can go down to the shop and help your father. And don't forget, Aunt Ruby will expect the usual treatment tomorrow night. Usual treatment? Right. Dishes. Dishes, dishes. OK, well, Melanie can wash dishes. I can do dishes. It's going to be that hard. Maybe I should just buy them a dishwasher. I mean, your average Australian isn't big on wallpaper, I notice, Terry. He's big on plumbing, but he much prefer a good paint to a good wallpaper. Uh, oh, uh, Melanie, uh, two 50 mil talk sets for Mr Ridley. Right. I've helped Sinker in his bait shop in heaps of scenes. I can do this. Talk sets. Talk. Speed. Cars. Set. Glue. You don't want to give me a clue? Oh! Talk sets. Uh, only the finest paintbrush ever made. Y you'll have to excuse her, Terry. Off to Australia and away with the fairies. So, Mr Ridley. A painter then, eh? Yeah. Hey, Melanie, I said boxes of number five snail pellets, not a box of number five pellet nails. Here, yeah, go on, take them back in. You know where they are. Do it a hundred times before. You said smolt blue? That's right. So, back in the shop again, eh, Mal? You sure you don't want to mix this yourself? You know, sort of mix your own paint, feel more involved in the whole process? I'm a bit old-fashioned. Leave it to the experts, which is what I pay them for. Right. <laughs> black! <laughs> Who'd have thought there'd be black in a lovely blue? You going to mix it then? Uh, yeah, oh, of course. I was just seeing that everything was. that you're getting all the colours you paid for. Just get me 
forward to this. <laughs> Smalt blue coming up. something to eat. Oh, if that's Shane again, I'm going to scream. Yes. It's a disaster. A complete disaster. Oh, I'm sure it's not that bad. You're just feeling a little blue. I've ruined the store. Your mother hates me and Cameron keeps running away from me. <laughs> Sounds pretty normal to me. Look, Melanie, this isn't working. I, I'm not cut out for this. We have to swap back. <laughs> Bit difficult, don't you think? Mm. Hey, that pizza's <laughs> mine! Wh and what's Aunt Ruby's usual treatment? <laughs> what, you mean the song? Song? You shooting that film clip tomorrow, Mint? Not if you eat all that pizza. Your secret identity will be Melanie, the, the Invisible song. Man. The song? Except it won't be a secret. Melanie? <laughs> yourselves cleaned up. The shop's a bit of a mess too. Shame it couldn't have exploded in here. Might be the only way we get to do the house up. Oh, don't stop. I've got something that can't wait. I've got a lot of evidence and the paint explosion's just part of it. Part of what? The hoax, the conspiracy. My sister's not really my sister, she's someone else. She's got a silly accent, Hamlet likes her, she doesn't eat meat, she gets lost in town, and she can't mix paint. I rest my case. Oh, one can see the logic, Alex, but she's just grown up faster than you've wanted her to. Uh, travel does that, doesn't it? She's not grown up, she's a fake. Mum? Dad? I really blew it, didn't I? Look, I want you to know how sorry I am for being a useless daughter, for wrecking the shop, for treating you like a maid, for destroying my bedroom. I know I'm a failure oh. and I'll take whatever punishment you want to give me. That's all right, love. You just be careful next time, love. Go on, you can have first turn in the bathroom. Go on. Thank you. Sorry, Alex. Oh, she is a love. You just wait till Aunt Ruby gets here. She won't be fooled. Secret Identity, Minty, video clip, take one.
filling. I'll say that for it. Is it time for the song yet? Oh, Melanie, why haven't you eaten those chops? Um, family, I have an announcement to make. She's going to confess. I confess that I've gone off meat. I'm becoming a vegetarian. Well, that's nice. The song? I thought you didn't like our song. Well, I like it now. I just want to say also that I think families are a really great concept, especially this one. What's she on about? Well, you know, that you can make mistakes and it's OK and, and just be yourself. Well, anyway, I just wanted to say that. And which self would that be? Right. Who's for a song, then? Get on with it. Like me to start you off. Oh. Here. <clears throat> Dum, 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 dum. The warden threw a party in the county jail. The prison band was there and they began to wail. The band was jumping and the joint began to swing. You should have heard those knocked out jailbirds sing. Let's rock! <laughs> Everybody, let's rock! <laughs> Everybody in the wholesale block was dancing to the jailhouse rock. Well, Spider Murphy played his hand as Little Joe was blowing on a slide trombone. The drummer boy from Anyone want a spare pizza? Bang, the whole rhythm. Oh, gang, let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. I had to sell my motorbike to get an airfare to Australia, remember? But now I need some more money to buy another motorbike. But I haven't got a bike to deliver pizzas to get another bike to earn money. To ride the bike to the house that Jack built. Yeah, so I've been catching buses and hitching rides and running. So you haven't been avoiding me? Avoiding you? No. When you thought that I was avoiding you, did you not like that? Well, you weren't, so it doesn't matter now. Which means that the way that things stand at the moment, that that is something that you do like in a non-avoidance situation? Possibly. Good. I'm glad we've shed some light on this. Don't tell her anything, Cameron. She's a spy. I know where you got your information from. Does this ring a bell? And written on the back, Melda's jailhouse rock for Aunt Ruby fell out of your pocket while you were dancing. Alex, you're such a cutie. You haven't heard the last of me, you, you Australian vegetarian hair ruffler. Closer to the moon.